Nail salons and spas have now been pushed back to phase four. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope met with some professionals in the beauty industry who share their frustrations as their businesses are forced to stay closed. Studio M Salon and Spa in Palm Springs is split down the middle when it comes to reopening. It's frustrating. Uh, we have been able to open up the hair side of our business safely and successfully. But on the other side, they still can't open their nail salon. Unlike hair salons, nail salons and spas have been pushed back to reopen in phase four, which could mean several more months of being closed. Spa owner and esthetician Angela Rafferty says it's a tragedy for her industry to hear that news. Which changes the game because we were in the phase three category. Um, that puts a lot of us out of business permanently. We're just really willing to follow whatever they want. And while they wait, they're putting safety measures in place. So we do have plexiglass in between where the client and the nail technician would be sitting. We have hand sanitizer on every station. We also have disinfectant wipes and barbicide disinfectant, which is a hospital grade. And our frustration with the government right now is these are constitutional questions right now as far as our freedoms are concerned we feel like they're starting to be impeded both professionals say the demand for these services is extremely high about 90 percent of the phone calls and yelp requests are probably nailed right now angela feels her services are essential a lot of our consumers find their mental health is well addressed when they come in for massage therapy angela and justine say many estheticians and nail salons feel they're being forgotten we're touching the hair and the client um almost just as much as we would um, in any nail service. And say it's taking a toll on their industry. It's not the same in the building even, just having our stylist here and not the nail techs in, in the spa. Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3.